Hi, this is Ian, Sloan Fellow Video Blog, and it's been a couple weeks since I last uh, talked with everyone, uh, but that's because uh, I've been really busy, and like a lot of other people in the Sloan Fellows program, uh, we have these electives on top of our core classes. The core classes are busy enough, but the electives are what make life uh, very difficult sometimes. So one of my electives is, uh, actually both my electives are interesting. They're both uh, lab classes, and lab classes are focused on not just uh, reading textbooks and listening to lectures, but actually uh, creating something or doing something. So one of them is one of my lab classes is G Lab, and this is a stands for Global Entrepreneurship Lab, and we form teams. Uh, we help a company, a startup company in another country, uh, expand their business or uh, do something that they need to do to make their their business better. Basically, a consulting project. So uh, we're writing reports and doing a lot of research right now, but in January we'll be going to an, another country overseas, in Southeast Asia, and I'll be talking more about that, especially when I go to uh, this, this country. Uh, and then the other project I'm working on is actually a class in the computer science uh, department. It's called Link Data Ventures, and Link Data is related to the semantic web. Semantic web is a concept developed by Tim Berners-Lee, uh, founder, uh, creator of the World Wide Web. And uh, semantic web basically uses information that's on the World Wide Web is a giant database and they've created a system where you can query it, you can add to it, you can uh, mix and match the data in different ways and it's a pretty exciting concept and also there's a lot of data out there that's available for free. So in this class we learned all the programming languages first in the first half of the semester and now we're working on actual business plans and creating products and that's the exciting thing. So I have something I'm going to show you in a second which is an actual product and uh, this is, I'm going to turn it on, it's on my iPhone. It's a mobile educational application that uses the semantic web um, and semantic data to teach kids about geography. So uh, there's three people in our team, a uh, computer programmer and two Sloan fellows. And uh, we developed this, this product and we actually have a demo that we showed off in our, in our class yesterday as a preliminary demo. And we still have uh, some more work to do, but I can just basically show you what it is. So the idea is uh, kids learn about uh, concepts by, by uh, linked information or, and contextual information. So if you look at a lot of educational applications, they talk, uh, ge ge uh, for geography, they like to teach kids by, you know, they might have pictures of flags or something like that. Uh, but our, our idea was to actually take a lot of the semantic uh, data that's out there, as well as freely available photographs, which can be found um, on Flickr and also some semantic sources to create an ed educational application that teaches kids about countries by pic through pictures of the, um, by pictures of the uh, animals, places, and people that are in them. So here's our demo version. Uh, this is, there's two, there's two modes to the game, or two modes to the, to the application. One of them is explore, the other one is play. I'll show you explore first. The idea is if you want to learn about India, you can learn about it through the animals that are there. So if you t touch on the picture of the elephant, it gives you some information. Uh, if you want to learn, see, see what the kids, see what the people are like, click on the picture there. There's some kids in Chennai, um, some kids that are, have paint on their faces for a local festival called Poli. And there's also, you can see what the, what the, uh, what the women of India, the, the outfits that they wear, the saris. And uh, we also have places, so Ganges River, there's a big fort in Rajasthan, uh, Taj Mahal, of course. You tap on, the tap on the picture, you see more information about it. So the idea is there'll be lots of countries loaded into this application. You can learn all about the, um, the, the, the animals and the people and the places. And then you can do a little game where you get quizzed on what you just explored. So, you know, uh, if you see a picture of a, uh, the Taj Mahal, so which country is it located in? All right, you pick India. That's, oh, actually, it looks like there's a little bug in that one. But anyways, the, this is just a demo version. Obviously, the design still needs to be worked out. But this is something that we really created in class. It could be a real product that you could uh, buy on the iPhone or uh, the, the iPhone app store. And that's kind of like one of the exciting things about being here at MIT is that you can do proje uh, projects like this. Um, and it's more than just sitting in a classroom. It's actually going out and creating things and doing some exciting things. So that's a lot of fun. Um, we have some holidays coming up, but I hope that I'll be able to do another episode of the Sloan Fellows before the fall semester wraps up. And then, of course, I have a, have a couple episodes on my uh, trip overseas as part of G Lab. And the last thing is, is that I do a lot of blogging about what I'm studying. So if you go to ilamont.com, you can see uh, my blog posts about
what's what's uh, what I'm studying, some other some other thoughts on my mind. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little blog post about the uh, application that we made too, so you can check it out there. So ilamont.com. Uh, everyone have a nice uh, holiday period, and I'll see you soon.